everybody, for the most part, has some really powerful transitional food experience, something that stands out in their mind. Even people that aren't really that, you know, they're not foodies, I guess would be the term. And finding some way to share that and bring it back out and reconnect people with this emotion that they're capable of feeling behind food, I think is a really great access point. The communal kitchen is uh, a great place for people to meet each other. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people will spend their first couple of days down here when they're waiting for their internet to get hooked up and. It's a good opportunity for me to sort of point them out and be like, hey, you, you're, uh, you're my friend now. And then <laughs> walk over to them and, you know, get a chance to talk to them, see who they are. Something that I noticed on a personal note as a resident, this is the first place in New York City that I've lived, I've been here for five years, that reminds me of home. I'm from Alabama. I'm used to a smaller, tighter community where everybody kind of knows everybody. And as much as I love being in New York City, a part of me remembers that and kind of pines for it a little bit. And coming to Irby is the first time that I've seen that sort of married with New York City life.